Yeah, it's, it's run by European interests. It's a world banking system. It's a globalist takeover. And we've got more WWE world politics with Sarkozy going, I'll walk out of the G20. If they're not going to make the world a better place, I'm just not going. That's it. Put, setting the stage for them to have this big revelation, this global new deal that Gordon Brown is talking about. Yes, we need a global new deal. Folks. Do you understand the Queen and Obama are meeting probably as we speak? He is groveling to Her Majesty. And I think it's the Duke of Edinburgh is the other person that he's groveling towards. Oh, Queen, tell me what we should be doing at the G20. And it's not just Obama, okay? It's other leaders who are attending this conference and getting ready to drop the dollar as the world reserve currency getting ready to announce a global currency system, getting ready to announce a new world banking system, all while they kill the entire, what, what, I mean, the crumbling almost, I mean, the infrastructure that is left in the United States is almost so lame and just like dr a dragging carcass. There's nothing left. We don't make anything. And now they're going to take over the auto industry? They're going to nationalize that too? Folks, give me a break. What, what are we going to make in this country other than teardrops and uh, foreclosures? Pink slips, teardrops, and foreclosures coming to an America near you. I mean, it, it's just unbelievable towards me. And I still hear people saying, well, it's not affecting me. The economy hasn't affected. I haven't lost my house. I didn't lose my job. Why do I have to be concerned? Well, you need to be concerned because they're restructuring the entire global economy. They're restructuring the entire world governance system. The global governance system they have wanted in place for so long is on its way, believe it or not. This is what they want. This is what they're working towards. A president of the planet. He is here. He's the one. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's President Obama. I mean, give me... There's a reason he's on the cover of The Amazing Spider-Man. There's a reason that his logo looks like the Pepsi logo. There's a reason that the media has refused to challenge him on anything. Lou Dobbs being the exception. One of the very, very few exceptions out there. It's because this guy is the guy to be the face of the new world order system. He's the guy that's going to get us to accept a civilian security force. He's the guy that's going to end posi commentatus. This is the man right here. There is no debate. There is no debate at all. North American Union, you better believe it. It's on its way. The Give Act, it's already passed. God knows what the final version is going to say in it. He just passed that huge, uh, I can't even pronounce the bill, but an amalgamation of 160 bills, which is a total land grab. Meanwhile, the UN is putting all this legislation in place for a carbon credit system, a new global carbon tax. They want to reduce our quote-unquote greenhouse gas emissions by 80 to 90 percent by 2050. Folks, I shouldn't be dead by 2050. How the hell are we going to reduce our gas emissions by 90 percent if they don't plan on killing a bunch of us? Folks, I just showed you the man of the year in 1996 was the guy that cured AIDS. Oh, Jason, he didn't really cure AIDS. He just figured out a system where if you take these drugs, you just live with AIDS for the rest of your natural life, which is another 50 or 60 years. That's not curing it. Jason, you're crazy. Jason, when you report that, you know, the New York Post said that there were hundreds of false positives on HIV, you're just making that up. Look, if this was about saving us, if this was about empowering humanity you would not have uh, the heads of Britain and the UK parts of the World Sustainable Society saying that they have to half the population of London you wouldn't have members of the Barack Obama administration saying that there's already too many people on the planet that's that's what's in this earth population exceeds limits it is unbelievable folks we're coming back with the final segment of the info warrior with Jason Burmis after this PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com, and of course, the InfoWarrior.com.
gotta do what's right Can't run around in circles if you wanna build a life But I don't wanna make a plan for a day far away While I'm young and while I'm able, all I wanna do is Fight this globalist system to the death, folks. What did we learn today? Well, let's just go over all these little news stories that I blitzed through as I took your calls. Didn't go over that one. That one was a, a little interesting. We might go over that one tomorrow night. Chinese beer tops Bud Light as number one as the Chinese defeat us more and more in the market. Chinese beer is delicious for more people across the world. Then the Bud Light. That's right. America can't even keep the top brouhaha anymore, folks. It's a sad nation. Iran pledges Afghan help in new gesture to the U.S. Again, Obama gets in. His first uh, act is to, uh, his, his first interview is to give to the foreign press directed at Iran. And now all of a sudden Iran is going to help us in the war on terror. Uh, as they hype up the roles of Pakistan and Afghanistan, Iran is going to play a role in their new Eurasian Union that they so desperately not only want to build but out. So that was a very important story. <clears throat> we uh, covered this new National Wilderness uh, Preservation System Act, the amalgamation of, uh, I believe it was a 160-plus bills. We still want you to go over that. It's very important that we go over that with a fine-tooth comb. A lot could be hidden, or, uh, hidden in 1,200-plus pages. Earth's population exceeds limits. This one's out of the BBC. Uh, and this is... Uh, one of the new Obama administration uh, officials that advises Hillary Clinton. And basically they're saying, hey, too many people on Earth already. Got to depopulate. France threatens G20 walkout as they try to bring in this uh, global super currency, this new banking system. And they've got to play world leaders off uh, one another to act like this is the most important thing ever. We have to get things done. On the other hand, though, we're getting reports that there are fires at the G20, and what they're trying to do there is demonize any kind of dissent, any kind of protest. We went over that in depth yesterday when they charged a bunch of kids with terrorism because they had plastic guns, imitation toy guns, and fireworks. They said the fireworks were going to be improvised explosives. But then they admit in the article they couldn't have killed anybody. They couldn't even hurt anybody. It's, an actual, it's, it, it's a disgusting joke, folks, a disgusting joke. Uh, Special Olympics launches a campaign to ban the word retard, which, in my words, is just retarded, folks. Why are we banning this word? It's a great word. I love to throw it around. I love to use it. I'm sorry to offend some people, but it's a word we've used for, I believe, over 100 years in the English language. When you're trying to describe somebody who may be mentally retarded or act like he is, I don't see what's wrong with using the word. More politically correct Johnny Nonsense. We covered Honda develops brain reader control robot. That's right. It looks like you're getting your hair done. You're not. It's reading your scalp, your brain patterns, and your uh, cerebral blood patterns as well. And then emitting uh, a wireless signal to Asimo so he can raise his right hand, uh, dance around, and do all sorts of crazy things. We showed the robot running and jumping. We are truly in a new technological era, folks. Pakistani Taliban uh, threatens attack on White House. Guys, they're saying that this guy, of course, who's in Pakistan now because Pakistan's the enemy, is not only going to uh, attack the White House, but he's the one behind Budo's murder, ben Benazir Budo, who was no great person, but she did start speaking out against the establishment, and uh, she got capped. So trying to blame this guy, you know they're lying. It's that simple. I'll be back tomorrow night, 9 to midnight central. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis. PrisonPlan.tv, InfoWars.com. Thanks for joining me.